Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. Today I'm uh, going to do a little product review. It's a new knife from Habilis called the Wanderer. Uh, I've been using this the last couple of weeks and uh, we're just going to run it through the ringer. So far I'm liking it. Uh, it's just kind of a small type camp knife. I'll get you a better view of it here in just a second on the log. So stay with me guys and we'll run this thing through the ringer. Okay, like I say, this is a knife from Habilis Bush Tools. Uh, it's called the Wanderer. Um, it's a little smaller knife, more like a, uh, a camp utility type knife. Uh, I've been using it the last couple of weeks and it's been doing fairly well. I've liked it so far. And uh, just show you some of the things it comes with. It uh, has a JRE sheath made by JRE Industries. I don't know if you can see their logo here. But uh, pretty nice little sheath comes with. And then uh, the knife itself. We're looking at about oh, four inch or so, give or take a little bit. Uh, cutting surface, cutting length. Uh, from the point back to the handle, you're looking at five inches. It has this little choil for choking up on for doing some fine delicate work which I'm actually I didn't think I'd like that at first but for a lot of little small tasks and uh, fine carving details I'm, I'm actually liking that kinda liking that and uh, I put this uh, paracord on there just kinda give it a little bit more grip the handles a little smaller <clears throat> than a normal uh, Habilis product but they're actually billing this knife as a women's or a uh, young adult or somebody with small hands and uh, so it's kinda kinda made different does have the uh, divot for the bow drill try to get that where you can see it and uh, <clears throat> like I say I've been using it pretty well the overall length of this knife looking at about nine and a quarter inches I think it's a uh, uh, the specs on it say it's a 27 degree grind for the knife edge. Uh, it's a nice custom custom knife. Uh, I think they run about 120 bucks, something like that. Maybe cheaper. Uh, I'm not really sure. I did pay for this one, so this is not like a, a product endorsement in any way. Uh, I bought this knife, and uh, let's run it through a couple of things here. As you seen earlier, we just split up. This is some pretty soft wood. You know, if you've got an axe, use an axe. Don't use your knife for this. It's just demonstration. Pretty easy. Here's a test I really like to give a knife. This is a solid piece of hickory. Uh, pretty solid. Uh, it's been seasoned out hard. So we'll see how they... I know it's going to take a little while to go through this. So let's see how this does. Ooh, my stump's moving on me. So not too bad. Um, feather sticking. Made a video earlier on. Just making basic feather sticks. It's a pretty sharp knife even after going through uh, what it just went through. And I haven't sharpened this thing yet since I've gotten it. It's 1095 high carbon steel. I think it's Rockwell 56. Uh, it's blued. I think it comes in about three different colors on the handle. I think it has like a, uh, this one's a charcoal. I think they've got a, like a tiger stripe and maybe another one like gunmetal or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, overall, uh, it's a pretty good little knife. I'm actually going to enjoy this thing, I think, uh, especially for camp, uh, cooking, and uh, general uh, trap making, that type of stuff, where a great big knife like the bush tools, uh, a little bit harder to do some of the fine work that you need to do, I mean, it's a little overkill on some game, but uh, for dressing bird, um, rabbit, squirrel, even processing a deer, 
This would be this is an excellent little choice. Um, I can't wait till hunting season to give it a try on a deer. So, uh, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, anything, please post them up. I appreciate you guys viewing. Uh, like I say, this is a review of the Habilis Bush Tool. I'm in no way sponsored or anything by them. This is uh, a knife I bought myself and gave it a try, and I'm pretty impressed with it. So, guys, you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the woods.